Hi, this is Charles. I uh, just want to speak to you about a symptom of uh, anxiety disorders called Globus Hystericus, which is also commonly known as a lump in the throat. And a lot of people with anxiety disorder experience this sensation, uh, this symptom. Um, it's caused by tightness in the throat muscles as part of the anxiety response. It can also be caused by tension in the, uh, the neck muscles. Um, but um, generally speaking it is always a symptom of an anxiety disorder so if you have heightened anxiety or panic attacks um, and you experience this lump in the throat which feels like it makes it difficult to, to swallow uh, then you have a globus hystericus and I wish I had a penny for every client that we've treated over the last 12 years who has told us that they think this could be something else going on something sinister that's going on in their, in their throat or neck um, not once in over 116,000 clients has that proven to be the case. So um, I can quite categorically say that uh, when people um, say, um, you know, uh, I went to a wedding and I got a lump in my throat, or I watched a film and I had a lump in my throat, or I saw a scary movie and it gave me a lump in my throat, that what we're talking about is the lump in the throat, the globus hystericus, caused by the anxiety response. Sometimes it can be caused by sadness, happiness, or fear but it's always caused by tightening of the throat muscles during the flight or fight response. So what do we do about it? We know what it is now, we know that it's harmless and it's part of the anxiety response, but um, it does feel unpleasant, I know, because I had it myself for months and months and months on end during my anxiety disorder, but I found a couple of things most useful in overcoming it, and I think you might find them useful too. Um, avoid hot drinks and avoid cold drinks, so very cold drinks, ice drinks, and very hot drinks like tea and coffee. Drink your drinks tepid to avoid any more um, irritation of the uh, muscles and the, um, the soft tissues in your neck um, while swallowing and whilst uh, fluids pass through your uh, into your in your gullet. Um, it's vital that you uh, chew your food well. Uh, you won't choke. Nobody's ever choked. I've never known that happen. But it will irritate. It could irritate your your neck muscles if you swallow big chunks of food. So. One of the exercises that I used that was really useful um, was uh, a massage um, technique. Um, it's very simple to do yourself. You just simply reach around the side of your neck and throat and you tip your head to the left or right. Whichever side you're tipping it, and in this case I'm tipping my head to my left and I'm feeling the right side of my neck. So you feel the opposite side of your neck and you can feel the sinews in your neck as they stretch um, during, the, during this movement. What you need to do is search out the ones that are tender, those are the ones that are under tension, and just put a little bit of pressure on them whilst you bend your, your head to the left or right. And just hold it for five or six seconds, and then slowly release the tension with your fingers and put your head in the upright position. Do the same to the other side, uh, bending your head to the, to the opposite side so that your, your head goes to the right and your, the tension happens in the left side of your neck and so on. And repeat this eight, nine, ten times. Always putting pressure on the one muscle or sinew that you can feel in your neck that is feeling most tense or t tender in some way. This will release uh, some tension in your neck. Make sure that you, when, you're, when you're seated or when you're standing that your posture is good, in other words that your chin is tucked in and that you, you feel as if you're being dangled from the sky by a thread. So in other words, like a marionette, you're being picked up by your the, you know, the top of your head, and so your neck and your, your body are in a, um, in a vertical um, alignment, and that will help you. The other thing to do is a very simple exercise that looks a bit strange, but it can really help, and that is by tipping your head backwards, not too far, until you start to feel the pull on these muscles here. And you'll notice that when I do this, if I carry on talking whilst I'm doing it, my voice will actually start to change, because what I'm doing is I'm putting tension around my throat where my vocal cords are situated and that tension is causing my vocal cords to stretch or be constricted in some way that causes the voice to change. Now this is how globus hystericus is caused. There are muscles in the throat that are under tension because of your anxiety and that causes the sensation of the lump in the throat. So what we've got to do is stretch it out. So again, you tip your head back, you feel the stretch and then you you move your lower jaw up as if you're kissing the sky and this action stretches the muscles underneath your chin it looks funny it seems funny I feel very strange telling you about this and demonstrating it to you but but having said that it's very effective and what you do if you do this 10 or 12 times regularly stretch 
kiss to the sky, and move down, stretch, and repeat it, and do this ten times slowly, you'll find that the muscles in your throat become looser. As you do it, you can also tip back, stretch, and move to the right slightly, move to the left, and all the time you'll feel this tension in these sinews that go...